All right, so welcome back to the fluid mechanics section of the civil FE exam review. In this video, we're gonna be going through fluid statics. And so I have a few practice problems for you all. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so number one says, calculate the pressure at a depth of 10 meters in a fluid with a density of 1000 kilograms per meter cubed, neglect, atmospheric pressure all right so what is the the information that we're given we are given um the depth which is 10 meters we're also given the density that's the symbol p um, but the density is 1,000 kilogram per meter cubed. All right. And it says neglect atmospheric pressure, or AP. All right. So what are we trying to find? The pressure at the point. It, of the, in the fluid at the point with depth of 10 meters all right all right so um let's say you have what does this visually look like right so you now i've been using blue a little bit but really so you have water or a fluid um, in this cup and I will let's erase that. hope that you like my drawings by the way so let's say our fluid is in a cup right our cup Top. And we are trying to find the pressure at this point. Here is the distance from here to here is ten meters. All right, we just want to find the pressure. Uh, with that depth of 10 meters um, and we know the density of this fluid is a thousand kilograms per meter cubed all right so now let's look at how we how we get this so I don't know how to I don't know the formula or the formula that I need for a pressure but what I can do is, is I will get in the fluid mechanics section of this and see if I can start looking at pressures. Um, specifically of a submerged. Yeah, okay. So here it's like forces on a, okay. So the pressure on a point at a vertical distance H is what we have below the surface is P is equal to, what does P stand for? P is pressure. P atmospheric, uh, or P A T M is atmospheric pressure, which we're neglecting. Um, the rho is a density, that's the symbol for density. Um, G is gravity. And then H is the distance, that vertical distance. Okay, so let's solve, all right? We have, I believe, everything that we need. So P is equal to P A T M plus rho G H. 
so we're neglecting atmospheric pressure so that just goes away and we are left with p is equal to what is my row well 1000 kilograms per meter cubed rho is just the density times the gravity which gravity in a fluid is gravity in general is 9.8 one meters per second squared and then what's our height our height is 10 our depth which is h 10 meters all right now once we get our units we get or once we cancel our units we get nine eight one zero zero kilograms over uh, meters dot second squared okay or a I hope that you're enjoying this video. I just wanted to drop in and say, if you're looking to pass your civil FD exam within the next 90 days, then you definitely wanna check out the course that I've created. The video that you're currently watching gives you just a glimpse of what is in the course, and I have made it test taker proof. And what that means is, is no matter if you've been out of school for a while, or you just have trouble with some of the engineering concepts, if you study this material that is in the course, it will help you to pass within the next 90 days. There are also full practice exams. Yes, 110 question practice exams, along with review guides and study schedule templates to help you pass. And these, re these are resources that I have created for you. So if you wanna check out any of those, just head down in the description box below and check them out now. Now to stay up to date on any new videos that I drop, whether it is more practice problems like in this video, or if you want advice and some extra tips to help you pass your civil FE exam, you're gonna wanna make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so that you know exactly when I post. And if you wanna check out the next video, you can here.